Seattle heavy favourites here playing at home. And you know, caught a little bit unawares here by this Kansas City side. That's exactly what happened. You know, you want to... <laughs> there's a tendency to kind of ease your way into a match. You know, sometimes teams, both teams will come out, they'll ease their way and feel each other out for the first couple minutes. But <laughs> when a team comes out firing like Kansas City just did, uh, it, you, you just got to match the level, Dan. You just got to match their intensity or otherwise you're going to get down by three tries instead of one early on. This is great stuff from Kansas City. Seattle's got to come back and answer back into the scoreline early here. We have Mills with the ball in hand to get us restarted. Looks like he's going to come out this way. His target is going to be the try scorer, Schwartz. Not going 10. Nope. Over the sideline. That's not 10. He'll come back to the middle for a short arm. Now we get the first look at this high-powered Seattle offense. That's what you don't want to do, Dan, especially against a team like Seattle. You can't give silly turnovers like that. You, you got, you're on the front foot. Now Seattle's got the ball at halfway. they got a set-piece play. You just, you just don't want to do that with this team. Got Peter Tiberio ball in hand. Kevin Swearing comes around oh. to the right. They go back and then they come back again. K Fed ball in hand in the 11 jersey. Draws in. Nice little hop step. One on one. Beautiful tackle there. Still with Swearing. Nice offload, but unfortunately finds a Kansas City player who Sonny Bill Williams around the referee. Not a good tackle there from the referee. Getting in the way. But Kansas City do well in defense. Now had the ball. They come across. That's Mills. He comes back inside, finding the speed man. Looks for runners. They've got numbers here, Kansas City. Oh, He's chosen it. to go on back inside. Stepped one, stepped another, gets the fender away. Strong, bullocking run there from Cody Weber. He's a player to watch Weber. He's been good this year, a real try scoring machine. Mills looks on the outside. No value there. He's bundled close to the sideline. A wayward pass picked up. Oh. Could be trouble. Seattle had the ball. Mikey P with the ball here. That's always trouble when Mike Palafau has the ball in hand. And penalty knocked down. They'll go quickly. Tiberio. Close to the line. Beats one, beats another, and dots it down. Beautiful stuff from Peter Tiberio. <laughs> showing his class. He gets the first try for Seattle. Takes the score. Seven points to five. Kansas still, City still in the lead, though. Pistol Pete dotting down. Great job by him. Uh, I'm a good friend of Petey's. I think he's just such a class and quality player. Uh, had the presence of mind. Get the ball. Quick tap. Make a step. And had the power to get through. He's obviously been hitting the squat rack. He, need, he needed to drive his legs there to get that extra little inch, but happy to see him out here playing really well. Yeah, Peter Tiberio, he spent some time in the Eagles set up there down in San Diego. He's a classy player. They do have a lot of talent on that side. You go through this roster and you look at some of the names. One of the ones that uh, I actually got to catch up with a few wow. of the guys. Uh, Lou Stanfield, good friend of ours, uh, last yeah, night. Yeah. He said to yeah, wow. keep an eye on John Cullen, who we were wearing the three jersey, former offensive lineman. Now, that wasn't a misprint. He played <laughs> offensive line for Utah, and now he's playing sevens rugby. So I, I did talk to John. Uh, we were at the, um, the HP camp the other day, and he at one point was upwards of 300 bills, 300 pounds. So he's definitely got the sevens fitness going for him right now. Great, strong player. Happy to see him out. Loving rugby right now. And we got Kansas with Kansas City with the ball. Coming out the end. Great tackle by Rocco. Oh, counter. Kevin with the ball. Out to Mikey P. Gives it to Cullen. Skip pass outside to Tiberio. He's looping. He gets the ball back. And <laughs> hold, holding his head. A little bit of a knock on. He's not going to be happy with that. But turnover ball. Kansas City Blues got, get, got out of trouble there. Got the ball turned over in the corner. Looks like Seattle was going to go ahead and get around the corner there. Petey did knock on the ball, but get out of jail free card there. Damn. Yeah, for Kansas City. I mean, we saw them uh, attacking. They got the first try. You don't want to give them too many chances here. Seattle, uh, mistakes like that from Tiberio passing to himself. And then we uh, have an upcape update for the World Cup. The girls are down 12 points to zero. New Zealand leading that game over there. Back to the action here. Kansas City, we see them kicking forward. One-on-one -on -one foot race. Tough bounce oh. to the ball. It's always going to bounce interestingly on this artificial turf here. And now Seattle goes straight on attack with Swearin. He steps back inside, carrying that thing like a loaf of bread, Swearin. Inside out on Mills. He's gone, Oh, Swearin. does he still have the gas? Vintage Kevin Swearin <laughs> right here. <laughs> Oh, going to the oh. dummy and no one, and they fall for it. Oh, k Fed, welcome experience. back. <laughs> Dan, you see him pointing inside, baiting the defender to think there was somebody inside to stop him from closing the gap. 
And in sevens, you know, the drop goal, it's pretty important. You want to get it underneath the post. You know, two points here, two points there adds up after a game. So wise head from Kevin Swearin pointing inside, <laughs> deking the defender a little bit, you know, getting himself under the post. So uh, Tibbs can have a better shot of getting this thing over for an extra two. Yeah, Kevin Swearin is actually one of my old roommates in uh – I don't want to take too much credit that we were up late one night. I had the pillows set out on the floor working on his footwork. And then, uh, so K-Fed, you can buy me a beer for that one later, champion. <laughs> Maybe a Smith Forge uh, hard side up, one of the sponsors here today. But uh, what an outstanding play. And it is very exciting to see him back. You know, he spent some time playing over in the uh, top 14 league in France with Agen. And injuries were really tough on him, unfortunately. And, he made a big decision to step away from the game, but he's back now in at least this capacity. It'll be interesting to see how much further he goes. But uh, what a great guy and great player he is. Good to see him back. Here we go now. Kansas City with the ball. They've shown some very fla very impressive flashes on attack. They come out one-on-one -on -one looking to go on the outside. Nothing there, though. The big fella in Kendrick Scott. He's very well met. Palafau. He moves across the defense well. Still with the ball, though. Oop. Kansas City. They do well when they recycle possession. They'll get a penalty. Will they go quick? They do. Beautiful stuff there. That looks like Connor Smith. He goes up close to halfway. They bring it out to the left. Good distribution. Well defended by Seattle, though. Oh, great oh, stuff. Beautiful stuff. It comes down now with the four. That's Cody Weber. We've been told to keep an eye on him. Great poach, though. That's John Cullen, the big man. Not as big as he used to be, but he's still a big man. He gets in, poaches the ball. Seattle committing three to the breakdown, though. Swearer moves it out. Still with the ball. That looks like big Rasalika out there. One-on-one. -on -one, the Fijian. The hot stepper. He can't get the ball away. Seattle's got a great line set up to the right. Overlap. they just got to use the ball. Pin and pass. See what happens when you don't attack the defense. They just drift across. Yeah. KC doing a great job just drifting. Oh, yeah. Drifting on no one. Pulling. Getting through the gap. Big fend off. Slamming it down like a big man should. When was the last time you saw an offensive lineman run that far? <laughs> Probably never. And he is uh, he is just a lump of a lad, isn't he? Look at the size of him. I probably think he's probably got another 15, 20 pounds to go if he wants to be a serious 15, uh, sevens player. But showing some great athleticism there. I'd like to see him just slamming that ball down. He's a giant of a man. And he said the Kansas City defense did quite well there. And I think it's just the individual brilliance of Cullen and the size of the man. They were very, very hesitant to make that one-on-one -on -one tackle with him. They held off him just long enough for Cullen to get away. And he dots it down. Seattle now stretching the lead to 17 points to seven. Kick to come. With Tiburio. He's kicked quite well. He only missed one thus far. This is from a tough angle, though. Nice kick. You don't uh, trip, a little to the right. Yeah, he puts a little bit of a slice on the right yeah. To the right hand side. So half time to Ponta, 17 points to 7. Seattle Saracens leading the Kansas City Blues in what uh, has been a very, very end to end battle thus far. But uh, Kansas City, they came out of the gates firing. They got the first points on the board with some great work from Mills, they, uh, one of their leaders there. But then they kind of went quiet. They lost the ball, they lost territory, and Seattle, true to form, came back and they lead 17 to 7. If you're Kansas City, it's a kick in this one. Uh, beautiful kick. There Curry. we go. Perfectly right on the 10 meter line. They about, get Dan. possession. Colin Hawley, his predictions have been pretty good thus far, showing his experience as a sevens campaigner himself. Beautiful little come out there, but gee, Seattle have defended well. They have got almost more players than the Kansas City. They're three, four, three players now as Weber. He gets dragged down just short of the halfway line. Great counter ruck from oh. Palafau. He's got in there for using his hands though. And uh, Mills will bring this one back. He's taken that tap about 10 meters off the mark, so. <laughs> They'll bring it back now, but that'll actually go to Kendrick Scott as he taps it. Dishes it off to Mills. They come back towards the middle of the field now, Kansas City. They've got some use out there. Oh, that's Throws a great dummy, one. goes around. That one could have drifted forward. Play on, says the referee. Ball goes to ground. Backwards. Here we go. There's some value. They've got a staggered defensive line. Beautiful cover tackle there. If they can get some numbers around to the right, there's value there. Turnover. Racco's got some gas. See what he's got here. On the foot. It's a foot race. Rocco now is showing a very clean set of heels. He needs a oh, oh, he oh, no. Oh, you're just no. anticipating, waiting for that ball to pop up for him. Rocco now is moving at such a rate of knots. He can't get down and pick the ball up. Still some pressure there from Kendrick Scott from Kansas City, who chased that, to his credit, right to the end. 
Forces a little knock on there from Rocco now, but how about the skill from now to get that ball on the foot at full tilt and then the chase down the sideline. Beautiful. So there's a left kick, left foot kick from Rocco. I know he knows a right foot guy, but you know, he's got the gas to chase those things down like that. But I think when that ball is rolling, you, you don't want to try to pick that thing up. You want to dive on that guy, you know, especially Kendrick Scott doing exactly what you needed to do. Keep applying pressure, chase him down, put the pressure on, and you know, eventually got the turnover there, but you know, Kansas City deep within their own end. Not a bad play. They've got to do a lot of work to get out, out of their own end. Let's see what they got here in the scrum. Good scrum. We'll see how we'll messy there as we have. see our first look at uh, Davida comes on the field in the 10 jersey, goes into scrum half, pushes Suniola out the fly half. And that's dangerous. Ooh. Got uh, Shalom Suniola standing out there. What an outstanding summer he had for the 15s program. First time ever playing fly half, actually. He's usually a scrum half. I thought he did amazing coming into the 15 squad with that number 10 jersey and getting that last win against Canada and Sacramento was pretty. Put the chair on the top of that tour. It really was. You know, you can't stress enough losing the influence of his brother, Andrew, with a knee injury early in the tour, but a great breakout tour for Shalom. You get a look at him here in his more favorite game, or more known game, I should say, in seven. Oh, there great fend off. Big Kendrick Scott, he's away. He's a speedster as well. Kicks it back inside. There's oh. Suniola at sweeper. Ball bounces over his shoulder. He goes back and recovers. Watch the steps from Suniola. He fools himself. Beautiful Woo! little pass though. Brings it down to Stanfield. He's in some space. Looks inside. Goes outside. Passes back in. That looks like it's with Palafau now. He just takes a tackle. They recycle well Seattle. As Craig Will goes in looking for the ball. Moves it out to the left to Suniola. He's got runners outside him in Kellen Gordon. One on one. What's Gordon going to do? He's going to back himself. Keeps the ball in his right hand there. Beautiful little stuff. He could have forced a penalty here. Nice stuff. That's Michael Mercer in the nine jersey. Here we go. Kansas City with a quick turnover. They're still deep inside their own half. Oh, dangerous oh. pass. Weber with the ball. He's got some space. Great Weber. tackle. Beautiful stuff from Stanfield. Taps the ball down. Palafau goes back to Shalom Suniula. Look oh, at look step. at that step. Shake and bake. Craig will now. This is along. There's Rasalika, the big Fijian, gets that ball out in one hand, unfortunately goes forward. Referee's going to award the try, it looks off like he made it off the, the knee. And Rasalika, you see him carry that ball so effectively in one hand, he's got a great bend looking for the offload. Ball's a little bit sloppy, but it's come off the knees of Miles Craig. Well, he hasn't been on the field long, and he's already got a try. <laughs> Miles coming on in the forward pack. Yeah, he, he's just a workman. Uh, Miles just off the knee chasing down the ball you know we thought it was a knock on he just kept on playing done it down got the try i mean great work from him but i'm really really impressed with both kansas city and seattle that could have gone either way seattle's defense has been great with the one-on-one -on -one tackles the chop tackles getting the defender down i think that's a staple of this team just their work rate on defense and making their tackles and it, it's it's showing here today i think kansas city's been Pretty dangerous all around, but Seattle just making the tackles, putting in the counter rocks, and getting those turnovers when they matter. Yeah, definitely a very good outfit. Kansas City, though, no slouches. They came out of a, a pretty tough bracket in the West there. Here we go. Shalom Sunula here gets us restarted. A little bit Driving of a kick. kick. Yep. Well, well chase. So Craig will gets the ball on Mercer. Makes a great tackle. About 22 out from the Kansas City Lions. They move the ball out to the left. Looking to stretch three. One and one. Very well met though. He's met now. But he picked up some yards there. Turnover. Palafau's done really well. The little man, Stanfield. Can he get free? He's met very, very well. But it's going to be a penalty. Not releasing the ball. Let's see what Kansas City can do. They need to do it quickly though. Just a minute and a half left on the clock. They tap. They come out to the right now. Turns his runner back inside. They look a little stagnant here, this Kansas City side. Or maybe a little bit overwhelmed by what they're up against here. Penalty, let's see if they go quick. Goes to DeVita. He taps. Watch the step. The goose step from DeVita. He comes out to Gordon. Drawing pass will do it. Craig Wall's got speed. Can he get there? Yes, Mercer can't stop him. Miles Craig Wall. He dots it down for another try. He's second in the matter of minutes. And for about four minutes, Miles Craig Wall coming in. Just easy two on one, pin and pass. Miles staying on the outside, letting his inside attacker do the work. Give him the ball. Easy fend off for a man who's got shoulders that big. You know, yeah. 
played played American football for a while. Uh, just heck of an athlete coming out here. He was on the circuit for quite a while. Made made some big moves there, but out here in Seattle, playing playing great rugby. Shalom Sweeney you know, to kick off again. Looks like he's going deep. He's putting the pressure on. Down the middle of the field too. Mills now. He has the ball with Ken C. He moves it back in. He lets one runner go. Comes back nice as well flow. Well read though. Keelan Gordon makes a great tackle from behind. He may have got the turnover as well. Referee playing advantage. May have got him here for a little knock-on. Yeah, that's what he's indicated. A little knock-on. So we'll pack a scrum down. Time looks like it's expired here. Referee agrees. 27 points to 7. Seattle take the victory. Somewhat expected. Look at the loss that both teams put out. The Kansas City 